Hey everybody, welcome to another one of Chris's beer reviews. I got a wicked beer that is no longer, well, very, very limited to find in Toronto right now, and that's because it usually comes out around Halloween. It is the Southern Tears Pumpkin Imperial Beer. Or should I say Imperial Pumpkin Beer. Now that is spelled pumpkin without the P in the middle. So it's P-U-M-K-I-N-G. It says that it's flavored extra strong beer. It's a 650 milliliter bottle at 7.9% ABV. It is originally $9 uh, in the LCBO per bottle. But for the few that are left on the shelf, I've seen that they were, or I saw that they were uh, $7.50. So whoever's looking for a sale or a deal out there, this is the one. Now, Hmm. This also recommends that I drink it out of, um, well, basically, oh, this isn't really the kind of glass you're supposed to be drinking out with this, but I'm not stopping the video. Um, it's got some stuff in the back. I'll read it real quick. Pumpkin is an ode to Puka, a creature of Celtic folklore who is both feared and respected by those who believe in it. Puka or Puka is said to waylay travelers throughout the night by tossing them on its back and proving them the ride of their lives. It's a journey from which everyone returns forever changed. Bewitched and brewed with pagan spirit. Brewed in the spirit of All Hallows Eve, a time of year when spirits can make contact with the physical world and when magic is most potent. Pour pumpkin into a goblet and allow its alluring spirit to overflow as spicy aromas present themselves. Let its deep copper color entrance you as your journey into this mystical brew has just begun. As the first drops touch your tongue, a magical spell will bewitch your taste buds, making it difficult to escape the pumpkin. This beer is brewed with pagan spirit, yet should be enjoyed responsibly. I'm getting the goblet at southerntier.com. Don't worry, people. It's already washed. Woo! I got the goblet. I got it. Let's do this. All right. Now, another Southern Tier label. Uh, we've been doing really good with Southern Tier beers on here. I think it's safe to say that they're an amazing brewing company. And we got nothing. Remember, this is a Halloween beer that I'm drinking in like March. So I'll let you know whether that's affected it or not. $9 a bottle, and it is a huge buzz on the internet. Everybody is loving this beer. Ooh, you can immediately smell how you immediately have a pumpkin smell. You got this other weird grainy aroma that comes with it. I don't really know how to pinpoint it. Maybe it's the smell of the seeds, like when they're taken out of the pumpkin, like that smell from the seeds. Whoa! This is a treat! Check it out. I got a very semi-cloudy copper tone looking color started off with a two finger maybe one finger head I have my apologize uh, my apologies I've never in my life had a beer like this you can actually you taste the wheat like I've never tasted any other beer before it's unbelievable you taste the pumpkin There's a lot of spices going on in there that I... Wow! How do I explain this beer? Going in for another one. There's a lot of things going on in this beer. You know what it is? I finally figured it out. You actually have a pumpkin taste, uh, like kind of like pumpkin pie, 
with cinnamon. That is one of the prominent ingredients. And I think butterscotch is in there as well. Now the reason I keep getting thrown off by the taste is it be, be, because it reminds me so much of pumpkin pie. Everybody knows that pumpkin pie has got sprinkles of cinnamon on it. So it's not just the pie. It actually has the cinnamon. And when I'm talking about that pumpkin pie taste, I'm not talking about the crust. I'm, I'm talking about that pumpkin pie taste. Wow! I am in love with pumpkin pie. I absolutely love it. <clears throat> this is one of those beers where I would buy it and... I've, I'm my my buddies know I'm notorious for this. I'll walk up to the door and I'll throw beers in their mailbox and stuff. And people usually end up checking out my reviews. And you know, usually we have the same opinions. Of course, it's not always going to be the case. Wow! If this has aged badly since October, no, it's impossible. This tastes so good. Southern Tier, you have done it again. You know, it says, when you look at the ingredients, uh, now I'm reading, it says barley, hops, yeast, uh, pureed pumpkin. There is no, no taste of barley in here. All I'm getting is pumpkin, 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 pumpkin. It's awesome. I recommend this to anybody. You know what? They should come out with like a special edition where like you get like a little crown or something, and you get to put the crown like on top of your beer. I don't know. Maybe that's lame. That's lame. Whatever. This is insane. <laughs> no, forgive me. This beer is might uh, beer review might be a little bit a little bit more over eight minutes, but that's because I'm going to be drinking a full 750 milliliter bottle. Wow! For anybody looking to try something different in a beer, the only people that who are not going to like this beer are those freaks out there that do not like pumpkin pie. I don't know what anybody thinks. Pumpkin pie is my favorite pie, aside with rhubarb. But I don't think a rhubarb beer will do very well. So, cheers! All right, Southern Tier, you surprised me with your creme brulee milk stout. You surprised me with your IPA India Pale Ale, which is probably one of the best IPAs I've ever had. And now, thanks to you, I have a drink dedicated to pumpkin pie, my favorite pie, the pumpkin. Wow, I should have done a special special guest review with this beer. Mm. Oh, wow. All right, I'm almost there. All right, people, this video is getting too long. I apologize. I'm going to finish this on my own time. So until next time, drink responsibly and don't drink and drive. Take it easy.